I keep going up and down with this lighting. It's one of those things. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So you can subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. We say this every video but it's important I guess. But today's video is going to be my Sephora loves list for 2020 and my Ulta favorites list. I decided to include them both in the same video because I don't have much on my Ulta list and just because it is like the middle to end of January I figured it made the most sense. Honestly don't know when this is going up. Hopefully next week we not really sure but hi we're here we're doing it and i'm super excited i always like adding things to my loves list and my favorites list at the beginning of the year it's like a refresh i also like go through and declutter it i do that throughout the year also but like in the beginning of the year i kind of take off things that i'm just like okay probably not gonna buy that or maybe i changed my mind about wanting it and stuff like that i'm super excited about today's video makeup by the way i have an igtv on it probably already up, so I'll link it down below. So let's get right into it. And this year, I'm actually gonna just like still be present with you here on camera rather than screen recording and doing a voiceover and stuff like that. So we're gonna start off with some. Aura. So let's just start from the top. The first thing I have on there is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Plus AHA Glow Sleeping Mask. I really try, I tried a sleeping mask from Laneige recently and I really enjoyed it. But this one retails for $45. You can also get a mini size, which is like an ounce for $22, which this is more of an expensive brand, I believe. Uh, it's like a Korean skincare brand. I know I've tried my brands I want to try in 2020. I mentioned that I want to try this and it's supposed to be good for all skin types and it's supposed to be a skin smoothing radiance boosting nightly sleep mask with watermelon hyaluronic acid and AJ's. I think AJ's are really good for like brightening the skin and getting rid of scars so I kind of wanted to try this. It's supposed to soothe irritation. It's supposed to be good for anti-inflammatory. It's just supposed to be great. So I have this on my love so I just don't know if I'll actually buy it but I'm definitely a treat with glow recipe and I want to try. I, I want to try the products because I've never tried them before. Next I have a cinnamon Secrets makeup brush cleaner. I've never tried this, but I've heard it's really good. I heard it smells like cupcakes, and what's better than that? And I just really want to try it. It's twenty-four dollars, and it's supposed to be good for cleaning your brushes. It's supposed to be, I guess, fast drying. At least I heard that. So I'm into that. Next is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine. I'm really into lip glosses. At least this past year, I've really gotten into lip glosses. And the color that I put on here is She's an Influencer, which is supposed to be a pinky pearl color. Typically. Like pinky lip glosses. I'm not wearing one today, but I love lip glosses, so definitely want this to be, you know, on the list. And I think his products are cruelty free. And it just looks beautiful, and I've heard a lot about it. And it's supposed to be like shiny, so it makes your lips look, I don't know, but I'm just into it and I I want to try it. And that one retails for $22, which I feel like isn't bad at all. Then I put on the Marc Jacobs C Quins, like C E E Q U I N S Glam Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. This retails for $26 not too bad for Marc Jacobs and I got I put in the, the shade Moonstone which looks really pretty but I'm honestly interested more in like Gleam Girl but actually that light pink color is pretty but probably I'd like go for Gleam Girl or Smoked Glass and stuff and these just look super pretty and I'm really into like glitters and trying new ones out and it honestly I'd like him to release more shades because this is honestly not enough for me like I feel like I, they're missing like a tone that just might be me but I really might want to try these out. Next is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged by Cellar Foundation. Recently this released and I'm very intrigued about it because I believe it's vegan. Their stuff is cruelty free and I picked out the shade probably like 30 is probably what I would go for which is a light with neutral undertones. It's supposed to be 39.50. Wow 39.50 like they had to go there. They had to say 39.50 but this is supposed to be really good. Foundation is supposed to be like a medium coverage foundation. It's supposed to have a natural finish and it's for all skin types and it's just supposed to be a clean long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology. It mimics skin texture for a natural flawless finish. It just sounded really good so I'm definitely intrigued with it and definitely want to try that one out this year. 
Next is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Gloss Universal Lip Balm. I have the Shimmery Rose Nude Color in there. And this retails for $19, so definitely not bad at all. This is something that I feel like everyone talks about, everyone says it's amazing, so definitely want to try it. And I'm just looking for to try more glosses, so definitely I'm into that for this next year. And it just looks beautiful and yeah, it's in Fenty glow. Next is the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation. This may or may not have been on there within the past year. I don't have my shade selected but I have one in in my love zest and this retails for $36. Supposed to be supposed to be like a natural finish, medium coverage, good for all skin types and it's supposed to just give you a natural finish. It covers, comes, and flexes without even creasing or caking and I'm just always curious about stick foundations. So this is definitely one I want to try out. Next also for Milk Makeup is their Flex Highlighter. I have the shade Lit in there. I also had the Rose Gold shade. I actually do own that. I actually got it for my birthday and I'm not crazy on that shade so I don't know. Like it's kind of weird. Like I don't love it. I feel like it just emphasizes so much texture on my skin. I need to definitely play around it with it more. I still like the shade and the color and that kind of stuff but like I'm just not super like I guess in love with this like with the highlighter but I definitely want to try the champagne color. It just could be lighter for my skin tone. I feel like the rose gold was maybe pushing it but if anything maybe a good like blush topper or good eyeshadow but I definitely want to try a different shade. Give it a chance you know. Next is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid toner. I'm actually going to take this off my love list because I'm just not feeling it anymore. So yeah, I kind of have a toner that I like. Trader Joe's is where it's at, honestly. And then I have the Margit Biz Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I still want to try this out. Still have it. This is $12, so I just need to pick it up, you know? But I do have like another facial spray right now. I have a couple that I need to get through and then maybe I'll think about it. But just something that's been on there. Next, again, Milk Makeup. I love the Milk Makeup products that I've tried for the most part and is it's a their highlighter stick in Lit, which is a champagne pearl. I've had this before in a sample and I really want the full size because it's like amazing like stick cream highlighter. It's the best so I need that back in my life. Next, I believe last year I had the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This retails for $29 and I believe I had this on my list last year. It's still on my list. I don't know. I've been really into like drugstore concealers so there hasn't been any need to buy this but I'm definitely still intrigued so it's staying on there for now. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation on there. It's one I've tried for years but I never really buy high-end foundations. I'm that person. Like I just never go there but maybe I will eventually but still on there. $39. Next I really want to try this one as well. This is Tarte C Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I definitely I need to try this because it just seems like it would be a nice foundation lightweight that kind of stuff and i need to try it because like why let it just sit in my love this like that makes no sense katie but i just haven't but it seems to be like a light natural lightweight good for dry skin foundation so i need to try that like i actually do next is the fenty beauty kilowatt freestyle highlighter with mean money and hustle baby this is a highlight that i do really want and i don't know that just looks of it. It was very beautiful and I really want to try this. I've only tried the Fenty Beauty Sample Foundation. I've never tried any of their other products so I definitely want to try that one. Next, I have a bunch of steel glitters on there. Actually, I only have three on there and honestly, I don't love steel glitters as much anymore. Like, I haven't used them in like the longest time but I have the Stila Glitter and Glow in Gold Goddess and for some reason, it says item cannot be shipped to the US. Huh? What? So taking that off my loves list because it's serving me no purpose. And now there was one because apparently the other one disappeared for whatever reason but this one is the Kitten which is a nudie pink shadow glitter and glow sh shimmer and glow shadow and this one retails for $24. I would like to try this but we'll see. I don't know. I got samples or like deluxe sizes of the steel glitters and I just wasn't impressed with like the formula changed which happens sometimes but I don't know. I'm just not like into the steel glitters as, as much as I was and I feel like they've died down in hype and that completes my loves list. Now let's go on to Ulta. So the first thing I actually just bought that's on here and this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Jelly Highlighter in Cloud which is the rose gold shade. I tried this for the first time in the IGTV and it's very interesting. Like 
that's what it looks like and it literally feels like blubber like the movie like it feels like jelly like yeah that's what it's called like it's literally jelly highlighter but it feels like it jiggles and it's just interesting so that's something that's on my list and i actually bought it so it's six dollars and i'm actually gonna take it off my list since i already bought it next is the fishes and formula butter bronzer i want like the either light bronzer shade or just like the original butter bronzer shade but this is 15.99 and i would like purchase it but i have a couple bronzers like already in my collection so i'm gonna wait until i weed out some of the mini bronzers i have then i would buy something like this but i really want to try it and i'd honestly even try it buy it if they had like a sale like sometimes during the 21 days of beauty which they have twice a year they have like sales on this kind of stuff so definitely try it out eventually just not right now also the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation on here in light natural something i've wanted to try for years but i don't know if i would just because i like what i'm using right now and also i've heard mixed things about this so i don't know if i try it but keeping on there just in case next one i also just bought and this is the elf cosmetics hydrating camel concealer i forget what shade i got it looks like this and i tried it out for the first time today and i really liked it honestly i think it might be a dupe i've never tried this concealer but it just looks like a dupe for the benefit boyne concealer and i got mine in fair beige and it doesn't oxidize which i like and it's just amazing and it's very like just hydrating and comfortable so i really like that and i'll take that off my list since i've bought it then i have the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer there i put mine in light five because i feel like that's the shade i would be it's like a neutral type shade which i pull more neutral i feel like with my makeup so yeah i really want to try this i know it's very lightweight but i feel like it's something i might like so i kind of have it on there kind of window shopping with it and stuff and i definitely want to do like a color pop like wish list video so definitely we'll do that soon then i have the ariana grande thank you next perfume on here i have like a couple perfumes that i would like to go through and then i i don't know i just the notes in that scent seem very pretty so i kind of just was letting it sit in my favorites because why not and i just like other perfumes so why not put this on there you know and yes yeah, so this is everything that's in my sephora loves list and my alta favorites list i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below what's in your loves list i'd love to know and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>